Steam. Hello, this is, um, this is Dokapon Journey, made by Atlas and Sting. Never heard of Sting, but you should know Atlas. Yay. Now, first priority is changing a bit of options. Um, we don't want CPUs to do anything that's low. So, here we are. Um... I'm going to be playing story mode right now, and hopefully I won't suck utterly. This game, as you can see, has a... The graphics, in my opinion, are a bit cartoonish, but... Um... Yeah. Well, in this, of course, I will be... Choose my class. As you can guess, this is a DS game, and therefore I have to emulate it, which is annoying, but, you know, you, I can't do anything about it, can I? Now, I can't tell if the audio is alright on, that it's recording right, it sounds a bit distorted here, but hopefully it's better than I think it is. Um, the purpose of, no, um, the purpose right now is I'm showing you why this game is fun yet stupid at the same time, and to show why, never mind, you know what, I'm just gonna play, come on, okay, now opponent one is going to be a blue bandit, Old Jaw. That's a stupid name, but I don't care. Now, weak. Now you might be asking why I'm doing them all week. Well, if you played this game, you will understand that the computer cheats a lot. So the best chance of winning is with weak. It's about Mm, I wouldn't say 50-50, it's more uh, towards me, but normal, it becomes vastly against me if I don't do it. Um, now, in story mode, oh, well actually the king's going to tell you right here what we're doing. Okay, we're good. Oh, turn order, and... Yes, I'm first. Monsters have appeared in our kingdom. They're stealing money from our towns. Because, you know, you didn't put any money into defense? Gosh. This is bad for business. Well, duh. Oh, my poor kingdom. Wow, you care more about the money, it sounds like. We must reclaim our riches. Whoever collect, whoever among you collects the most treasure, I will give them the second greatest treasure in the kingdom. My daughter, Princess Penny. You will marry her and become the heir to the throne of Dokapon. Now, I just realized we have a female, and uh, so would the female also marry her? Princess is apparently. Ugh. I can't believe I just realized that. This offer is a steal, limited time only. And by accepting this task, you release me of my tre and my treasure of all my ability. Are you saying that? Um. Okay. Wait. 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 So if I die, you get all your stuff back and you acted like nothing happened. Asshole. Alright, adventures, let's get started. Diana. Now the advantage to being... Each class has an advantage. Like, 
being a fighter, um, my advantage is initiative, which means randomly in battle I can attack first, always. Um, because it's set so CPUs don't take a long, they pl I'm not sure, I've never used that option myself, I hope that means it gets saner. And he beats the Kabold, yay. Uh. Um, the goal of this game is obvious. You must get as much money as possible so you can do whatever. To be continued. <laughs> oh, man, you're being, his ass is being kicked. Anyway, and last but not least is a skeleton. Now everyone's fought except me. This makes me basically in last place. Sorry, I said basically nah, I am in last place. But now let's see. Now you gain money by liberating towns. Of course, you can do stuff like this and fight other people. Do -do -do. Now, I didn't really get to get to explain. Attack mean is a standard attack. Um, attack in a, is um, deals damage, obviously, based off your attack and your defense. Pilifer is actually my magic, and that does various effects. Pilifer attacks them. And I gain um, gold from it. Brawn makes me stronger. And Strike is a tricky thing. It severely multiplies your attack. But if they counter it, they get a free attack on you. Of course, they surrender. Of course, the defensive actions are defense. Which, um... Sorry. Defend, which... Def is obvious, it defends you, and it reduces damage. Uh, magic defense, which, um, cancels out magic. Um, counter, which, um, it doesn't alter your defense, but if someone strikes at you, um, you don't take damage and you harm them. And I can't remember the last one. In this case, I'm going to be taking this per my opponent's cash. But as you all not understand why I will need it. Um, this mean if they surrender, that means they are unable to do anything for a turn. If they die, it's even longer. In this case, um, Clinter died, so. Well, surrendered, so he lost, loses something from the monster, and he can't do anything. I'm sorry this is going so slow. Um, so the first priority when you go start the game is to get a better weapon, because you suck, no offense. Seriously, I love that music. Curses. Now, this is like the weakest enemy in the game, the Kobold, but they're easy, but this game is boring until the first mission. Now, the goal is, of course, to get as much money. Well, you can get money from defeating monsters, you get tons of money from defeating, um, <clears throat> you get tons of money if you def get towns, and especially the town with the big monster. That gives you a cash bonus and such. So you won't get, well, if you get money from towns, it counts towards you, it doesn't... 
Ugh, I can't explain it right now. Let's just do stuff. And I was lucky. Okay, now this is like most shops. You can buy stuff, you can sell stuff, you can rob them. Robbing them is only if you're desperate. Buying is self-explanatory, you buy stuff from them. Selling, um, is also self-explanatory if you sell them. Robbing's a bit different, so you roll all to see if you get any money. If you get money, that's nice and all, but whether you get money or not, you get a bounty on yourself, and for a few turns, if a player attacks you and kills you, they, um, get money for it. Now, okay. Now, as you see, you trade in stuff. That just makes prices lower. Now, after you get all your stuff like this, there's, um, you you should go out to do the big monster, which is tougher than normal monsters, obviously, um, in the area. For example, all towns, um, have certain strengths of the big monsters. And, um, the monsters can either be tough, or it can be relatively easy. The biggest example are possibly, um, Anna, for example, will have a level 5 monster. And, but when it gets a big monster, it can get a 7 or 9 one. So, it's really just that. Now, it's never easy to um, defeat big monsters. They're not supposed to be. However, you'll see that I am already prepared for that. Now, you can interrupt battles. I can't do it this turn, but when you interrupt the battle, you get to choose whether you fight, who you fight and such. Well... That's a basic rundown, I guess, of the game. And the music still sounds miserable. Uh, he levels up again. Again? Oh, yeah, yeah, again. So now I have serious trouble. See, the big problem is one CPU will always usually get in the way. They are going to be strong and their main rival. Now, in this case, Sloan died. When you they die, they're sent back to either a castle or a church. And they lose something. In this case, she lost her skill. Well, I guess that's all I'm going to really do right now. Save. Don't care. And that's the end of.